I'm Ashmail12.com and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about a more improved version of my login and registration script which is already on YouTube at this moment. Um, this version is actually going to include the check user tutorial that I did a while ago um, which will check if a username is available in the database and tell you in real time if it is and you can use it um, a few more like um, just I'm not sure if I did this video but checking um, that the passwords are the same and providing a little green tick just like on um, able12.com if actually I'll show you here because I've actually got it up um, so if I click register as you can see um, username if I type in username as you can see we get a little green tick if the username is available um, and a cross if that's that's part of what I uh, the other video I've done already, um, and the other thing we're going to do is I'm not sure if I've included the characters remaining, but I'm I'm sure that there might be a video out there f to do that, but I don't think I'll be including the characters remaining, um, and the password here. Um, so if the password, if I just put in pass, um, as you can see. It's going to be slightly different to this, but it's the same um, principle that when the passwords don't match, we get password. We will get. A, I'm going to be using a red cross in this tutorial, um, and then once passwords match, um, in fact, to spell it right, um, you'll get a green tick rather than green passwords match. I will provide um, these images, and I will show you the images in a minute. So basically, this this video this first part is going to be just an introduction of what we're going to be doing really um, so nothing too much encoding in this video um, so what I want to talk about now I'll show you actually is the database that I've set up it's basically just a simple database if I just go to the structure here um, it's basically just three fields an ID which is auto increment and is a primary key um, second is username which is a var chart of 25 and um, in the code we actually set the fields as a max value of 25 and some checks so um, a username of 25 cannot be entered username more than 25 cannot be entered um, and the password which is a var chart 32 because we're going to be working with MD5 and MD5 um, is fixed to 32 characters long um, so that's the database um, as you can see I've already got one username in here this is just what I was doing testing before but I've kept it in to show you that the um, check user actually works. Um, so next, I'm just going to show you the file structure. So if I just move this over here, um, as you can see, we have an index.php. Well, these are all PHP. Index, login, logout, members, and a register page. These are all blank apart from the index.php page, which is well, they're not. They're, they're sort of blank, but. Um, if I just show you, this is the index page, it's just linked literally home page and a link to register and login. Register, it's just um, a um, header of register and the same with login, it's nothing too fancy at the moment. Um, and logout obviously contains nothing and members contains nothing, I'm not sure about that. Um, um, images, as you can see we have the green tick, the red cross and the username loader which you will find out um, if you watch the check username video um, what that's, uh, how to implement all the check user stuff um, but I will provide these images along in with the zip file that you can download from able12.com um, and we also have a core folder here which contains um, some files authenticate.php um, basically logs the user in it, it acts as the login.php in the old script um, check user is actually um, I'm not too sure actually if I just open that up alright that comes with the um, the check user tutorial so um, all these files will be provided in the advanced download but um, to actually look into more detail, I'm not actually going to go through any of this code. I'm just going to sort of import them in. Um, so if you really want to know what this code and how this code actually works, then um, I'll suggest watch the other video. Um, DBC, oops, DBC is actually just a connection to the database. So as you can see there, it's nothing 
um, it's just two lines, uh, just connection to the database. Um, and reg check um, contains nothing. <laughs> that will be the equivalent of register.php. That that will be the code that will actually register the user into the database. And in JS, um, check user, as you can see, comes with the other tutorial and jQuery um, to actually implement that. Um, so I think that just about wraps up this first part. As, as I've told you before, this, this is not going to be... This part is just sort of an introduction to what uh, I'm actually going to be doing in this video. Um, so that is, I think, everything that I need to tell you in this part. And in the second part, I will be starting on the um, register code. I probably will be. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next part.